Hi, it's Grace. Welcome or welcome back to Emposia's channel. Today I'm going to be recommending some books that are specifically catered to when you are stuck at home. Books are a great means of entertainment and comfort, so no matter what kind of lockdown reader you are, because I know everyone is different, I feel like I have the perfect book to recommend to you. And if you're not sure what kind of lockdown reader you are, stay tuned till the end of the video and I have something that will help you. Okay, so the first kind of lockdown reader is someone who is missing traveling. I feel like this is definitely me. I'm so sad that I haven't been able to explore any new places for quite a while now. And so the book I would recommend if you're missing getting out and about, seeing new places, new countries, is Less by Andrew Sean Greer. This is a literary fiction novel that follows a middle-aged man who is a kind of semi-successful writer and in order to avoid going to his ex-boyfriend's wedding, he decides to accept all of the invitations that have come in for work and plans this trip around the world doing various things like speaking at a literary festival, doing a writer's retreat, lecturing at a university, basically so he can avoid his real life for the summer. And so we follow Arthur, our main character, to South America, to Europe, up, he goes to India, to Morocco, and in what is a relatively short book, we get to see a lot of the world. I absolutely love this book for that reason. I think Andrew Sean Greer evokes these different places so well. It's a real kind of like romp. It's very fun traveling with Arthur. This is a very funny book. He gets himself into a lot of mishaps as he's on this journey around the world. He is a bit of a kind of bumbling fool character, but this is also a really, really heartwarming book. It's beautifully written and ultimately it is kind of a love story in part with Arthur dealing with his past relationships that he's been trying to avoid, but also in coming to terms with himself and the person that he is and learning not to be so down about himself, not to worry so much about growing older and about not being successful. This book is an all time favorite of mine. It's a perfect balance of that romp, traveling the world, seeing all these vibrant things with Arthur, but also a really beautiful character study. The next kind of lockdown reader is any of you who are feeling a bit down. I feel like that's to be expected. No one would blame you. And so the book that I think will cheer you up is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. This is about a young girl in Nigeria who at the start of the novel is also feeling quite down. Terrible things are happening to her. Her father sells her in marriage to a much older man. She's 15 and all she wants to do is go back to school and get an education. However, throughout the book, as she strives to get out of these bad situations, to stand up for herself, we see a really uplifting, heartwarming and positive story about a young girl who is committed to following her dreams. This book does deal with slightly difficult stuff, as I say, but ultimately the friends she makes along the way, the people who help her out, really just a heartwarming story about a young girl coming up against the odds and fighting to get an education. This book had me just smiling at the end of it. It really touched me. It's very readable and I'd highly recommend it. So maybe you're just a total escapist lockdown reader. You just do not want to think about what is happening in the world. I got you. I would recommend The Princess Bride by William Goldman. This is kind of like a fantasy book, but don't worry if you're not a fantasy reader. The book follows a writer who is telling his son the story of The Princess Bride, which is a story that in turn his father used to read to him as a child. So the story of The Princess Bride, the action of the book, is about this fantasy land, there's swashbuckling men, there's a stolen princess. It is very kind of sweeping and epic and totally unlike the real world, but then you get these interjections from the father to kind of give context to what's happening. He butts in, it makes it really funny. This also has an amazing film made out of it, so something to go to once you finish the book, but I read this all in one night, I couldn't put it down and it totally took me out of myself because you just get so wrapped up in the world of these characters that are so far flung from our own. They get into all sorts of exciting, ridiculous situations and yet yeah, you will definitely forget about the real world. Another thing I think is affecting a lot of readers right now is just a lack of concentration, trying to focus their mind on a book and so I have the perfect, short, clever book that you won't be able to put down. This is Pet by Kwake Amezi. This is actually a YA title. I don't read a lot of YA and I still really, really enjoyed this and I think because it's written in that slightly more accessible style, it's also very helpful in terms of concentration. So this feels like it's set in our world apart from the fact that it's ruled by these people, these high up figures called angels and all of the citizens kind of know that there used to be monsters but there's not monsters anymore, everyone is safe. However, when Jam meets a monster, Pet, everything she knew about her life kind of changes and Pet tells her that her best friend Redemption is in trouble and there's a monster who's trying to hurt him. So it follows a very kind of 
well-trodden, I would say, narrative of YA, something not being right and two teenage characters trying to solve it, but this book is actually so, so smart in what it says about the way we build society. It's really compelling because you want to know who the monster is, you want to know what pet is, who Jam can trust and who she can't, but it's actually very powerful and it has a really satisfying ending. It'll make you think about a lot of things and I highly recommend it. Finally, I think part of us, some lockdown readers, just want to read about people who are in an even worse situation than us. And so if that is you, I have to recommend One by One by Ruth Ware. This is a thriller and it is set at a ski resort where there's an avalanche and all of the people who are in this chalet get locked in there. So if you thought you were stuck at home, they're really stuck at home. The group are colleagues who work at a new social media platform and then there's the members of staff and they're all locked in this house in France. The police can't get to them and then soon, one by one, they start dying. So this has that perfect claustrophobic, tense atmosphere because you kind of are expecting, you know someone else is gonna die, but you don't know who and you don't know when and you really don't know who to trust. I could not put this book down because it's so fast and readable and it is actually kind of scary in a tame way. Like you know you're safe at home, but the thought of being locked in a house with a murderer does kind of freak you out. So yeah, you'll end this book, I think, being satisfied with the conclusion, having been creeped out, but being very pleased that you are stuck in your home where you can at least open the doors and the windows. So they're the five books that I wanted to recommend. But if you're still not sure what kind of lockdown reader you are, Imposia has a quiz that you can take that will let you know. So I'll link that in the description below. And then once you've worked out what kind of lockdown reader you are, you have all of those five books to choose from. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.